Hello everyone, my Xbox One S became a bit noisy and I'm pretty sure I need to clean it. It's quite old and most probably got some dust inside. It wasn't opened before, so firstly I have to remove this sealed sticker at the back of the unit. Once removed, I can start the teardown. Opening an Xbox console was never easy, but thankfully Xbox One S is not that hard either. So, at the bottom of the unit, there is this black plastic cover which has clamps all around on all sides. And here was the seal. I'm using a filler gauge, any other tool may fit the same purpose, I just recommend to avoid using anything sharp. So with this filler gauge I'll detach the black plastic cover from the main white unit, but before starting I'll use a coffin pad, this way I'm making sure I will not scratch it. You can use anything soft such as a cloth. Now I'm starting from the sides near the AC power input. And I'm gentle near the seal place because I don't want to break it. That's it, everything was smooth and fine and its sides are in perfect condition. Now I have to remove all green screws labeled with F letter. For that I'm using a Torx T10. and I remove the top cover. Here are three Torx T8. And that's the Wi-Fi. For the front board there are four screws and for that is needed the Torx T8 screwdriver. I pull it near this side because here is the connector and I don't want to break it. Now let's go for the grey screws labeled with C letter. For that I need again the Torx T10.
and now the last remaining screws are those for the CPU fan, for that I'm using the previous Torx T8. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, there is some dust, pretty much all around. There is this plastic thing here. Here is the hard disk drive. Blu-ray drive. Here is the cable connector for the power supply. There is a plastic lamp and I have to be careful to not break it. Yeah, that's fine. Now here we have this metal thing. Here for the X clamp I'm using a hex screwdriver H3.0. I put the hex in here and I'm pushing it on the opposite side. Simple as that. Now, once more. And that's it. I forgot to unplug the cooler fan. And yes, there is need for a good cleaning. I 
I'm removing the fan from the radiator. Now I can start the cleaning process. I'm using a soft brush so I won't cause any damage. With rubbing alcohol, I'm removing the old thermal paste from both radiator and motherboard. Now I'm applying the new thermal paste. For the assembly, I firstly make sure I match the radiator so this gap goes where I plug the fan. I simply place the X clamp and push it. That's it. That metal thing, I don't have a name for it. Now the Blu-ray drive. The power supply. and the hard disk drive. It has to match some holes in there. 
done. Now I'm starting with the cooler fan screws, they're all black T8. Those labeled with C letter are grey and they're T10. Now I'm putting back the Wi-Fi card and there are 3 T8 black screws. and the front board with 48 black screws. The last remaining screws are those T10 green labeled with F letter. And now for the plastic cover, I have to match this stick with the hole on the main unit. And that's it, my Xbox One S is once again clean and ready to play. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.